the lawless frontier. A scorned path. Surviving is a whole lot easier when your enemies are dead. Excerpt from C. C. Lagrange's translations of Writings and Observations from the Tangled Shore, a fallen text. It was a Lycris, the machinist, who began hoarding the servitors, and Rexis, the hangman, who slaughtered them at every turn, two allies driven by opposing forces, one science and the unmaking of faith, the other rage and its relentless push to destroy. There had long been tension between the two, as Rexis had, more than once, slipped into the machinist's workshop to inflict himself on the servitor's cage there. Fickrel the fanatic, their spiritual leader and one-time archon priest, watched patiently as their rivalry grew. He saw strength in their ire, he saw fire and fury, but also more, a new path forward, one that could join their passions and drive them further, a whole stronger than its warring parts. Fickrel waited, biding time as tensions rose and threatened to splinter the baron's loyalties. Only when the Lycris could take no more, on a night when she caught the hangman prepared to slaughter her latest hall of lesser servitors, did Fickrel step in. Fickrel motioned to a Lycris and said, Bring me a servitor. As Rexis hissed with anticipation, she hesitated, but Fickrel was patient. Where is your trust? A Lycris released a servitor from its bondage. Fickrel motioned the servitor closer, then turned to a Lycris. You have gathered many, machinists, hundreds, maybe more, our own supply, our life force fed by slaved mechanics. Elycris nodded to the servitor as it inched closer to the Archon's open arms, welcoming the once revered orb as one would a child. The other barons began to bark a rhythmic warrior's chant. For all the value in your work, it is not enough to feed ourselves. Fickrel hugged the servitor. There was a tenderness to the embrace, a sorrow. We must also starve our enemies, as you were once starved. With a blur, Fickrel's lower arms unsheathed and triggered a pair of polished, sparking shock blades. As were we all. The servitor, still held with the clutches of the Archon's powerful upper arms, cried a shrill, digital wretch. Pain mixed with confusion as the blades carved its outer shell and plunged deep into the core of its systems. Ether hissed and sprayed. Fickrel released the machine's silent shell, and it clanged lifeless to the ground. He turned to Elycris. Do you see? Elycris smiled. She was ever the brightest among them, though her focus could lose clarity when she became frenzied. The barons had long been trouble for the Awoken and the Fallen of the Reef but that trouble had been limited to hit-and-run tactics. What Fickrel had just presented was a new way. Fickrel stepped to Rexis. Do you see? The brute barked in response. Kill them all! Fickrel laughed. Not all, hangman. Just the ones we do not need. The barons cheered as Fickrel continued. Every servitor, any servitor, bound to a house is now a target until none remain but those upon whom we feed.